In Egypt, it'll soon be two years since the revolution toppled longtime leader Hosni Mubarak. Much has changed, but as the BBC's Angie Ghanam reports from Cairo, Egypt's women appear to have been left behind. Her shining moment. This bride is a success. Rich or poor, getting married is still considered one of an Arab woman's biggest achievements, and her guests are feeling optimistic. Egyptian women are strong. They can create their own future, this woman tells me. Then it's back to the dance floor to carry on the party. But outside, nearly two years after the Arab Spring started, there is a sense that women have been left behind. If Facebook could help kickstart one revolution, Sally Zohni and her friends hope it might help start another. This was our way of saying it's the same problems and it's the same dreams. The uprising of women in the Arab world shares women's stories from across the region, trying to give them a voice and bring them together. But Sally's goal is much bigger. Freedom of choices. That's what I want. I don't want anything. I don't want all women to be professors. I don't dream of every girl to be an overachiever. I just want her to know that she, if she chooses something, it's her choice. That's it. But to achieve that, she says, it has to go beyond the Facebook crowd. If you really want to understand the majority of Egyptian women, you need to visit a place like Stablantr. Everyone here struggles with poverty and the lack of basic services. It's a hard life. For 20 years, Om Ibrahim has spent her days like this. Along with about one in three Egyptian women, she's the only one supporting her family. She calls this her greatest achievement, a bigger bread oven bought with a microfinance loan because it means she can give her children a better life. But what about her? I just want to perform Hajj and I want to rest. Everything in my body hurts me. I have injuries in my legs, my arms. I want to rest. For her, both dreams are probably out of reach. And most Egyptian women are like her. All their strength is needed to bear the burdens of daily life. If that changes, it frees them to choose what else they want to fight for. In Jiranem, BBC News, Cairo.